88, 89, 90. All right, today we're talking bicep brachii muscle, okay? That's what we drew on the arm here. So we're pumping out some reps with these eight pound dumbbells to demonstrate the function of that muscle. And you'll, you could see that I was not only flexing my elbows, but I was also supinating, which is where you turn your, your wrist uh, palm up. So that's a supination, whereas this is a pronation. And it's important to bring that up because um, that's one of the primary functions of that muscle, the bicep brachii. So routinely patients will come in the clinic and say, hey, doc, my elbow hurts on the front part of the elbow here. And commonly it is in fact that biceps tendon that is causing the problem. So let's, uh, we'll talk a bit more about that, but let's first delve into the anatomy. So if you wanna zoom in on the drawing here, again, I drew the biceps brachii muscle with the associated tendon. This connective tissue over here is called the biceps aponeurosis that we had mentioned in a previous video. But the primary tendon attaches right here to the forearm bone called the radius. A muscle that underlies the bicep called the brachialis attaches to the ulna. But here we're focusing on the bicep. And because it attaches to the, to the radius bone here, it again allows for forearm supination. So we're gonna look at that. Let's first look at a model that I kind of mocked up. And let's consider we're going to act like this pad is the radius bone in the forearm. This is the bicep muscle. So when I pronate, it wraps that tendon around the bone like this. And when I contract the bicep, it pulls that bone back up into supination. So you can see how, because the tendon wraps around the bone, it allows for supination of the forearm. So we can also see that on the ultrasound, this is a video of the bicep tendon, this linear structure attaching to the radius. And you can see how the radius there swivels and it pulls it back into supination. So a very, a very important function um, of that muscle. And again, when people have problems with this tendon, they can be visualized in ultrasound. Um, we will choose to do one of many different treatments. For example, we'll have people do specific types of exercises where they do assisted elbow uh, curls, bicep curls with a very slow eccentric or negative portion of the movement. Sometimes we'll also do procedures for that tendon to help it heal like platelet rich plasma. And for that, we will also use the ultrasound so that we can be very safe and accurate because there are a lot of important vessels and nerves in this area. Um, and that's something people also do quite well with. So again, biceps, uh, tendonitis, pain on the anterior or front part of the elbow is a common problem. If you think you might have this problem or if you have any questions, let us know. Info at the nursemedical.com. Mm -hmm.